Hello and welcome to our video about does gold beat inflation? The answer, the, the short answer is 74% of the time, no, it does not. Now I ask you, if you, if you know, I look at investments as tools, okay? I have a tool to fight inflation with. I have a tool that I use to pay my bills with, which would be cash. I have a tool to get income from. I have, a, they're different, different tools. So if you went to your tool shed and you said, I want to pick out the tool that is the best one to fight inflation with, would I go and choose the one that 74% of the time doesn't work? I think not. So how did gold get this reputation of being an inflation fighter? Why is it that you can't turn on the television without somebody telling you that gold fights inflation? Well, the reason is this. Gold does not fight inflation. Gold fights fear. When people are scared, when they think the economy is going to collapse, when they think the dollar is going to collapse, when they think we're going to be all scavenging around and you know shooting each other for food, they think that gold is going to be the answer. If you have hard asset in your hand, that's going to be the answer. So fear drives the price of gold. Now, let's go back to the early 80s. You may remember back then that we had massive inflation. We had the worst inflationary period in the history of our country. 10%, 11% inflation per year. We were becoming poor very quickly, if you think about that. Now, what was going on at that time? Well, we had the real estate market was collapsing. We had the banking system was collapsing. Anybody remember RTC and all that? We had uh, the stock market going down. We had all kinds of terrible things that were happening and people were scared. So what did they do? They bought gold. What was happening at the time? We had hyperinflation. So gold was going up because everybody was scared and they were buying it. We had inflation at the same time. Voila, gold is the inflation fighter. Wrong, it was coincidental. It happened at the same time because of fear at the same time. Now, let's go to 2008 and uh, look at that. Now, during that time, what happened? We had fear that the real estate market was collapsing, fear that the banking system was collapsing, fear the dollar was gonna lose its reserve currency, all those same fears we saw back in the early 80s. The headlines were uncannily the same. And what happened? People bought gold. And gold had a five-year run where it massively went up. During that same time, did we have runaway inflation? Were all the headlines in 2008 and 9 and 10 and 11, were those the headlines? Inflation is rampant and it's all a terrible problem that we must solve. It wasn't. In fact, it was the opposite. The Fed was saying we have disinflation. We have inflation so low, we're worried about it. But yet gold was going up. What was the reason? People were scared. It wasn't inflation. Inflation is not your best inflation, uh, inf uh, I'm sorry, gold is not your best inflation fighting tool. In fact, most of the time, it doesn't even work. So what I'd recommend is buy gold because you like it as jewelry or because you think the economy is gonna collapse and we're all gonna have to uh, scavenge around and, and trade. But I'll ask you this, if you have your bar of gold and the whole world is collapsed and you're trying to buy food, how are you gonna do that? Are you gonna like scrape pieces of your gold nugget off and trade them in? I mean, I don't even know how that's gonna work. I think paper money, believe it or not, is gonna be what people will trade with. They'll want you to give them dollars, not credit cards, not ATM cards, okay? I actually think it'll be paper money, but hopefully we'll never find out. Certainly, I don't think it'll be gold. I thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. We have lots more videos for you to watch on our website, moneymatters.net, so thanks again.